Sun City Prison in Johannesburg, the emergency support team of correctional services was joined by Deputy Minister Tabang Makwetla. For more, we cross to our reporter Hitekani Magweza in Johannesburg. Good afternoon to you, Hitekani. Uh, what have you seen? What have you found out? And certainly, what has the Deputy Minister uh, been able to share thus far? Well, uh, good afternoon and good afternoon to our viewers. We are, of course, at Sun City Correctional Services uh, Center here in Johannesburg. And the emergency support uh, unit that belongs to the department conducted a surprise raid. I must tell you, uh, we, we went inside with the unit who were uh, in, uh, you know, in bulletproof and um, some other uh, pro protective clothing and gloves and such. And they honestly, they pounced on the inmates who were uh, unsuspicious or uh, unsuspecting of a raid. They made them, uh, you know, uh, stand in queues of two uh, each and searched them. Uh, of course, they were searching for contraband. These include um, uh, drugs. These include weapons, uh, cell phones and other objects that aren't allowed to be held or to be uh, used inside by inmates. They searched their beds, uh, lockers, and they really uh, did a clean sweep of the area. They, we, we had uh, uh, unit members going up the beds and looking behind the TVs that are in these cells. Uh, and, and they found multiple, multiple objects, uh, contraband that were smuggled into the uh, correctional uh, services. Uh, center. Uh, like I said, these include weapons uh, that are uh, used, of course, in confrontations between uh, inmates. These are cell phones and cell phone chargers. Uh, there the, the were also quite um, uh, bizarre things that were found in there, including frying pans and uh, uh, and buckets that are used to uh, brew alcohol, uh, drugs. We, the, the, there was weed there as well. These are things that are, of course, banned to be uh, 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 in possession of by inmates. Uh, we spoke to the uh, uh, Deputy Minister, Minister Tabang Makwetla, who said, uh, well, the greatest concern has been uh, overcrowding and he feels that uh, they've brought down the number of overcrowding. And he says that for the number of um, contraband that, there was, that they found here, uh, it's not overly concerning because he says the facility, of course, has over 8,000 inmates. So for, for uh, uh, you know, looking at proportions, they're not entirely concerned. The, the major concern for them were, of course, the cries of the inmates. The inmates say that they have issues with uh, uniform, with uh, bed sheets, they, the, the planks, the bed planks are not in good condition. Uh, the, the mattresses are, of course, uh, another concern that the inmates say they need assistance with. with. And uh, the deputy minister, of course, they are saying that he will be looking at these things. Andy, however, I, I must say that I, I express some shock, however, that, you know, finding a whole bucket, a frying pan, and a whole host of other utensils and tools inside a prison should surely be of some concern. Yes, he says that he has now uh, continued to deal with and is dealing with the overcrowding in prisons. They are currently dealing with the uniforms and those sort of issues. But surely, being in a prison of this sort, you should not be able to find those, uh, those other key items. And... Is the deputy minister keen on saying that they will be dealing with that and ensuring that they cut down on it, if not bring it to a complete halt? And exactly, that's, that's a, exactly the question we pose to him, of course, saying that the, the correctional services department, or, or centers rather, are supposed to rehabilitate uh, uh, inmates so that they're ready to rejoin society. And uh, going into such a place and finding continuously, I mean, uh, this is, uh, of course, they call it Operation Vala, and uh, this operation has been going on for multiple years, and they've been finding these types of dangerous uh, and uh, um, un unwanted uh, objects within uh, the inmates' possession for quite a while and it's it, you know we posed it to him that why is it that uh, or do they acknowledge that they fail to clamp down on uh, the smuggling of these because we do know also that there are uh, guards that are suspected of uh, smuggling these things into the facility 
for the inmates we we also the 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 unit also found shoes belonging to guards in there and what happens is that inmates uh, or guards give the inmates shoes to clean and then they paid them for that which is another problem uh, seeing that uh, you know the, the guards are supposed to be trusted by the uh, department of course the, the deputy minister says uh, they will use whatever uh, objects that they found that are illegal and are contraband to investigate these things and try and clamp down on what is going on but uh, in, in a nutshell at the end of the day he says that the human spirit cannot be contained it says that because people here are idling and they have nothing to do uh, it is uh, you know expected of them to try and find innovative innovative and new ways to break the law uh, but he says that they'll also look into the programs that are put in place to rehabilitate uh, these inmates uh, uh, and, and and that's what in a crux or in a nutshell they want to do to try and fix the situation I appreciate your work out there, man. And uh, Naturena, do keep safe out at the Johannesburg Correctional Facility out in the south of Johannesburg.